When the United States entered the war, no one realized that nearly two more years of combat lay ahead. For 20 more months, war would continue to decimate the population of Europe. War would hasten the development of weapons and of propaganda. The other day I chanced to meet a soldier friend of mine. He'd been in camp for several weeks and he was looking fine. His muscles had developed and his cheeks were rosy red. I asked him how he liked the life and this is what he said. Oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. Oh, how I'd love to remain in bed. Posters, newspaper ads and songs were used to recruit replacements for the wounded and dead of Europe. They were used to raise money for the war. They were used to urge civilian austerity so more supplies could be sent to the battlefields. They were used to encourage those at home to work hard to sustain the war effort. According to some historians, British propaganda about the inhumanity of Germans helped to bring the United States into the war. Americans joined in the stalemated conflict, and both Americans and Europeans devoted their technological skills to weapons making. At the war plants, women, the aged, and the handicapped took on traditional men's work, quickly bringing weapons into service.